Hi, this is Dave Aquino with MicroQuant, and this is the Value Charts Video of the Day for Wednesday, September 4th, 2013. Uh, the video of the day I'd like to cover Apple. Apple had some good news um, early this morning, after hours, pre-market, uh, regarding a new media event that they're going to have on September 11th in China. So if you remember, they, they have a news event on Monday the 10th, uh, on, on the 10th, and that's announcing the new iPhone. So the rumor is that uh, the news event in China will actually be introducing the iPhone to the uh, China mobile subscribers. And that's giving Apple a very firm foothold in China. So we'll wait to see, but the market's assuming that's what it is, and you can see what happened today at the open. We closed around uh, 488 yesterday, we opened and pushed higher at 499. So we're up 11 points right at the open and it pushed all the way to the high of the day, which was 502.24. Now, uh, Apple's all had some resistance right around 500, 501, 502, this, this general area. So you can see what's been going on today. We pushed higher at the open. We were able to maintain the position above uh, uh, 497 and just basically been trading sideways within this complete range bound area. So a lot of the downside momentum is starting to wane. So we could make a new push for higher prices if we, later this afternoon if we can break above this high. Now, in case we can't, that's okay too. This is the uh, the current price chart for our uh, daily positions, and you can see Apple has come down from this initial surge higher from when George Soros and Carl Icahn have been saying they're investing in Apple. Found some support right here. This corresponds very closely to a 50 50 percent retracement from this low to this high. Came back down here, tested the support with this bottom and then this bottom and then Monday we jumped up higher above this high and then uh, today we, we have this hopefully it doesn't close as a doji pattern right here uh, don't really want to see that but that doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be um, uh, it's not necessarily a bearish pattern so we could continue higher we did implement a uh, Apple uh, bullish put credit spread yesterday and uh, the the short strikes at 475 see the nice price actions pulled it away from the short strike so we have a lot of built-in gain in our spread right now we want to give it a little bit more time so time decay works in our favor but uh, looking forward to a successful trade in apple uh, this week never miss a value charge trade Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel to see more Trade of the Day videos. Click it now. Again, this is Dave Aquino reminding you to keep your options open and your trades profitable.